Before you can do anything with data in Power BI, you need to have an idea of the kind of data that you are dealing with. At the very minimum, you want to know the source of that data and you also want to know the kind of business that the data relates to. So I'm going to introduce you to our sample data set. It is one of the most popular public data set, the sample superstore data. So this is the sample superstore data. And the first thing you always want to do when you get to see a new data set like this is to look through all the fields of the data. Fields, by the way, is just another name for columns because Power BI works as a tabular tool, which simply means that the data presented for Power BI needs to be in the order of rows and columns with every column carrying a specific header. So the header of that column is what's going to describe the kind of data you have. So by the time you take a look through all the headers within the data sets, you will know the kind of data you are dealing with. So if I present to you a data set, for example, that has something along the line of account name, account number, account type, then you know you are dealing with some data set about bank customers, right? So let's take a look at what we have here. So this is our sample superstore data set has a column for row ID, which is more or less just like serial numbers. Then we have other IDs, which is like transaction ID. If you are looking at a transactional system, like in the banking system, or maybe you can also refer to this as maybe like an invoice number or something like that within an accounting system. So, but within this particular system, it is referred to as the order ID. You have the order date, you have the ship date, you have the ship mode which basically means that we kind of like have data about customers that make some orders on certain dates, the orders get shipped on certain dates, and then the customer must have chosen the type of shipment that they want, which is going to judge how fast they receive their product, right? Then the data also stores information about the customers, the identity of the customer. So every customer has been assigned a unique ID, and then you have the customer's name just in case you tend to have two customers bearing the same name obviously their ids are not going to be the same then every customer has also been grouped into a segment then the data has information about country which is probably the customer's country or where the customer is shipping the, the products that they are buying to the city the state the postal code and the region where the product has to be shipped to so definitely this is about location then we we'll also have information about the product itself the identity of the product the category the product belongs to the subcategory the product belongs to the name of the product and obviously the main things that we we'll have to deal with here for analysis the value of the sales for every single record of data we have here the quantity of the product that is being purchased, the percentage of discount that is being issued, and also the profit you have for that sale. So technically, every single row on this data set like this identifies a customer transaction. So for every single row, we are going to have records for the ID of that particular transaction when was it ordered when was it shipped what kind of shipment mode who is the customer and which country or which locations is the product going to then also what kind of product is it how much have we sold it how many is the customer purchasing what's the percentage of discount we are giving to the customer and how much profit are we making on that product so this data set based on the kind of fields that we have here identifies a data that we can relate to an e-commerce company.